Hello, welcome back to City Planner Plays, where we are playing Timberborn. And in this episode, we're going to do something I'm really excited about. We are going to put our water pipes underneath the road where they belong. So hear me out here. Hear me out. So what we're going to do is use our explosives to put in water underneath our roads. And, and hopefully that will prevent our crops from drying out in the in the uh, dry season. So that is our goal. In the previous episode, we built this. It's still going. So this is going to have a ton of power. And once this is up and running, we're going to have so much power. This will never run out, at least in the in the in the wet months. So well, as long as we have water flowing down this river, we're going to have a ton of explosives. And if we take a look, we've already got 21. So we're in a pretty good spot with this to get going and trying to put water at our pipes, sort of, <laughs> underneath underneath this. But we're gonna need to, to think about something, and that is we're gonna need to have an irrigation tower or a mechanical pump to be able to pump water underneath these. So what we're gonna do is we'll eliminate some of these path connections, put explosives, have pumps going down, and hopefully fill this up with water. So why don't we get started with that? Okay, so we'll pop into our landscaping menu, get our dynamite, put a nice little path of them right there. And at the same time, we're gonna need to think about this pump system. I think we're fine. We're totally fine with just a normal pump for the time being. So we'll just do the water dump. 250 science, that's that's nothing. We can we can live with that. But I have to wait for this to actually get prioritized. Or kidding, the game will tell us it's prior it's a priority right now <laughs> because we have a drought coming. So please build this. Oh, 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 I know the problem. We aren't exporting our explosives. So we're gonna make a new route to here or explosives. We're gonna make multiple routes to here <laughs> with explosives. Prioritize this by haulers. Come on. We need to get you over here. Over here. Oh, snake oil seller has died. That's that's sad. We needed some snake oil sold here. <laughs> so <laughs> let's see, do we have we have potatoes in here. Okay, well that's something. It's not what I want though. So, okay. We aren't doing very well with our water over here. Our, we're not loading up. Let me see how many beavers we have over here. We are not in a great spot with that either. We have no unemployed beavers. Ooh, we're in kind of a precarious spot. I didn't realize that. And that makes me nervous. <laughs> so, please prioritize. Prioritize. So in this district, we have one explosive. So one's been, been brought over here so far. Not great. And everything is a priority, so nothing's a priority. Oh, we're just going through the days, wasting all of the time. So over here we have a little bit of water. I guess we have these pumps over here. That's helping. So these ones aren't super necessary. Okay, finally, we're getting our explosives done. All right, time to detonate. Oh, and I killed, I'm sorry, Douglas Anderson. I did not mean to explode, uh, cause an explosion on you. <laughs> that was not, that was not my, my goal. All right, let's slow things down so we at least feel like we have more time, even though we don't. And what we're gonna do here is I'll create a path back here for our water. What I wanted, oh, we're gonna need one more explosive. So let's prioritize getting rid of these. And for our dump, so I could just place it right here, but I, I wanna go a little bit lower. Ba basically, I wanna have a path over here, so I can't have that dump right here. So let's get this going. And now we officially have our drought, so that's great. We might as well stop pumping here. And, you know, at least now we can we can focus on something. So here we go. Got it to be a little bit deeper. 
and we'll go. Okay, so I've placed the water dump right here. So ideally, a beaver could pump the water down. Now, there's no unemployed beavers in the district. We need someone over here. All right. So, Alexandru, you are the, the hope of all of these crops. It's gonna dry out and die. Please, no, 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 we, we need you to crank it. Get this water, we're gonna prioritize this by the haulers. Dump it in here. Please? <laughs> it dried out and died. Oh, look at this, look, look, look. There it is. This is exactly what I was hoping for. This is perfect. Because now we can bring this back to life. I, I can't dam this. So that's that's one of the things I realized. I experimented. There's no way to dam all of this off. There's just too many things happening. But I can add the water underneath there. And look at this. Now I'm just hoping we don't waste too much water. <laughs> but, but I'm guessing we will. Eventually, I want to get a mechanical system set up so that this fills during the summertime. I've got some decisions to make that are going to be hard. We're going to go for it. The, 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 the best decisions are always the toughest ones. So we're going to add more of this. First of all, I'm going to make sure that they're not working all day. Killing themselves to, <laughs> to, to improve the city. And then more landscaping. Everyone is... Are, are we out of water here? We're not. Why is everyone... Hold on. Hold on. What is going on? Yeah, we got plenty of water. Prioritize this. Prioritize this. Prioritize this and prioritize this. Everyone's freaking out. We're working eight hours a day. I don't get it. <laughs> Calm down. Go take a drink of water. Relax. This seems like the ideal time to cut all of these roads off and do a little bit of construction. Let's go. We, we, we're only working eight hours a day. And it's actually pretty impressive to me how far this has gone. I did not expect that. But here we are with most of our island with plenty of water because of this little irrigation area that we have here. The water pipes underneath our road where they belong. So we have plenty of explosives at this point, so that's not our limitation. Our limitation is probably the number of hours that we're working, which is not many. <laughs> but maybe, I'll, maybe I'll, I'll increase that just a bit. We'll go 10. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're out of water here? That is not cool. Are we exporting our water? We need to, we need to take a beat on this for a second. We're not. We just don't have any. <laughs> so we're going to need to solve that too. That's a problem. So I want to level this out and then we're going to go in and add a couple of water pumps. And obviously this is very high priority. So <laughs> we're going to do that too. And then we'll put some large water tanks up here as well. Okay, hopefully I uh, got to this in time. This could have been really bad. Uh, I, I'm going to move the children from District 2 to District 1. And we have three unemployed beavers. They're going to move too. That's going to help us over there. And I think over here, we're doing just fine outside of having no water. So that's, that is a problem. That's a significant problem. Now over here, interestingly... Even though we're irrigating, we have we have some water. I wouldn't say it's plenty, but we have some. Yeah, we're running out of water. This is a problem. Oh, no. No, 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 no. You're just hanging out. <laughs> hanging out, getting thirsty. Like, what? What? No. Please. Go to bed, at least. Oh, we're going to see so many people dying. For the time being, we're okay. We've got Daniel Harms getting born. Michael D. being born, Jeremy Sims being born. We got a lot of births. So apparently when you're thirsty, what you do is you go hang out at the bar and uh, have a kid. <laughs> so, all right. So they're getting more work done here, hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. This is not a priority. So we're going to take that down. And in terms of builders, we should be fine. They're just 
a little bit slow. Are we out of resources? No, we've got resources. L I guess lumber is our limitation now. But we're getting moving. Just a couple of logs away from having another water pump. Which, and we'll prioritize these by the haulers. Sandy, what are you doing? Taking the day off. Sandy, we need you to pump water. I don't know if we're going to make it out of this alive. I'm not feeling good. We're going to start losing beavers. We have to. Daniel Harms has grown up. So Daniel Harms has lived in a world where there's no water and he's a beaver. <laughs> so that's... He lives in a civilization that is completely devoid of water. And everyone's thirsty all the time. Okay, we have a little bit of water. Not enough to really get excited about, but we have some. But our, at least our drought is almost done. I'm going to actually increase the number of working hours because we are desperate at this point. Just desperate. And I don't, even, I don't even know where to take away from. Maybe from here. We'll add this right back because obviously we want <laughs> food, but water is significantly more important at this point in time. We're going to prioritize this by the haulers. Our drought will be done in just a couple of hours. And we have the ability to have another explosion. No beavers close by. Boom. There we go. Feeling good about that. Next. I'll go down a little bit further. So, okay. The drought is done. Thank goodness. <laughs> because we are not in a great spot. Oh, and I guess it doesn't matter that these are... That these are, uh... Good to go now because... You know. <laughs> we... We, uh... We can't even get to them anyway. What's the deal with this? Can't get the gears. Okay. That makes sense. Oh, and we've got a couple over here. They're going to be too far away. So that's frustrating, but I don't know that there's much that we can do about it. Short of just blow these up. So I'm going to I'm gonna explode these, detonate these right now. Okay, so now with these new paths, there should be enough... They should be able to get to these now, once these are built. The other thing that we're going to want to do is find a way up and down that isn't just this singular path because we need to detonate one spot right there and that's going to cause lots of problems. I was looking at this wrong and I thought that this went somewhere meaningful. <laughs> it doesn't. So before, when I cut this off, nobody could get to their homes. So I just got really lucky. <laughs> so, and you, you know, you'll have that. You take your wins when you get them. Over here, our win is that we're getting more water. So let's go ahead. It's going to be really ugly, but I'm going to just place a whole bunch of water tanks up here. We're never going to have that problem again. Yeah, I wouldn't call this beautiful. I would call this highly functional. So we got Kyle, Joel, and Alex D. Who are going to be creating our explosives and shipping them out to District 1. I love it. I love it. So now that we've got this, huh, look at all this lumber. We could start exporting the lumber. Just raw lumber. And we'll even have tons and tons of workers at the distribution post. Hauling post? Let's crank that too. Eventually, we'll have some more beavers. Hopefully. <laughs> so we'll get there. All right, so we've got this. More explosions. Here we go. Boom. Feeling good about that. And now we can go ahead and add in our platforms. So interestingly, over here we have no unemployed beavers, but we do have three homeless beavers. And that's why we are in kind of a stage where there's no growth. So we should probably think about that a bit. Yeah, that'll do the trick. Give us a little bit more overhead on our beaver housing. And I'm really getting tired of these warehouses. So we do not have... I don't know that we have... Let's see. We'll go into here. Yeah, we don't have the underground warehouse, but we do have plenty of science. So we're doing it. We're going to add one right here, right in the center of our community. Oh, that's going to be great. As soon as this is done, I'm going to empty these out and get rid of them. I think they stink. So we're going to... We're going to... Take care of that. And we've got these done. 
detonate those and get our platforms there. Because I don't want them to focus on this or the housing first. Truthfully, housing is a close second. So there we go. Building this up. Look at that. Perfect. Now, I also want to build this path up here. Little redundancy so that we can get rid of this, connect this through and get the water underneath in this area as well. Now, we are I've never used this mechanical water pump before, but I do think that we have all of the materials that we need because we are creating, I guess we don't have whatever that shiny lumber is. <laughs> Let's just check that out. So this is the wood workshop, which we'll do, we'll do, we can do this. We'll unlock that. And I, I think I know of a place where we can put this. <laughs> just throw it in our little factory district. Over here we are, fit, we got our water pumps, a couple of them built, or a couple of our water tanks. So we should start putting water away in a significant way here. Prioritize this, prioritize this. And we've got our hauling post just, just full of, pe of beavers. So we should be good there. Okay, so over here, got our houses built. Focus on this. This is high priority so I can get rid of that one spot and blow it up. Dynamite, that is also a priority. We'll blow it up and then one more just for just for good measure. And we'll blow that up and get our path connection back. There we go. Feeling good about this. Really need an unemployed beaver over here though. So we're gonna need to take away from our haulers once this is built. Maybe even, I mean, we've got a lot of workers here at our distribution post. We'll take two away. And I don't know where they went, but they didn't come here. <laughs> so that's unfortunate. Uh-huh. Now? Nope. Now? Nope. Now? Nope. Oh. So this is one thing I wish was a little better in the game, and that is the prioritization. You know, in Banished, it was really easy to kind of micromanage where people are working. And what I'm seeing is that, you know, I have the power wheel. Mm, those are turned off, so that shouldn't be a problem. I don't know where everyone's going. But they're not going here. <laughs> so, we have a problem. Alright, now we finally got it, but we had to completely cheese everything else to make it happen. So we should start to see this fill up with water. And that the un the only unfortunate thing is we can't really see underneath here. Oh wait, wait, maybe we can. Drop this down. There we go. All right, so we can see that there's water underneath here. That's gonna keep our crops alive. We've got more work to do though. But we can't just end it here and call it a day. We've gotta really make sure that this touches every part of our little beaver community. So, what I'm thinking, we'll get rid of this. And I'm gonna make another road connection here and then we are going to start ex uh, focusing on our explosives again. Okay, so eliminated the minimum number of connections that I would need to get this going. We're still short on gears to get this one large water tank done. That's, that's amazing to me. <laughs> this is so difficult, but it is. Alas, it's fine. We'll figure it out. Oh, and we've disconnected all of this stuff over here shoot that was not what i wanted oh no oh no oh no so we oh please go fast oh, we we can't we we can't yeah this is okay so now at least we're connected again <laughs> it was almost catastrophic because that's all of our water otherwise i wouldn't mind so much but it's it's kind of a problem and now the problem is we have no one working at our water pumps over there so that's a big issue. Hopefully if I take two away, we get one. Uncle Undead. <laughs> so Uncle Undead is working over there and let's see who's working over here. Uh, get some new beavers. Oh, Pooch died. I didn't even know Pooch was born. Same thing with Daydream. I see some, uh, uh, some, some familiar names in this list. All right, back over here again. We'll get rid of some workers at our hauling post. Just kills me. Just kills me. <laughs> I don't know 
where everyone's working. And we have another vey. <laughs> Just unlimited vays. All right, well, good job. All right, we, we can explode these areas. So there we go. We're going to line it right back up. We haven't had a drought in a while. I'm very suspicious of that. To me, that means we're about to have a drought. So, and I'm going to take this a little bit further, I think. I want to start thinking about our mechanical water pump. So we'll pop in here. Oh, that's 5,000 science. Yeah, we're nowhere near that. <laughs> so very nice thought. It's it's adorable, <laughs> but, but we're not doing that. Well, we are thinking about it, though. I built the storage underground warehouse over there. Not sure if it's done yet. We'll check check that out in a second. We need one over here. So I'm going to put that over here. Kind of tucked off in the corner. And when we look at our resources, what are we missing here? Gears again. It's our limitation. And let's... Yeah, we've got so much power supply over here. We are going to start making gears over here as well. We have no reason not to. I didn't even do the math because I don't have to. I know we have plenty of overhead for this. So gears are going to be our limitation here as well. So we might as well get this rolling. And let's see. How are we doing in our homes? Do we have any availability? Look at that. We're totally filled up over here. It's probably for the best. We still don't have a lot of water. And our, even our food situation is not great right now. Let's build the triple lodge. We'll use up some science. Oh, that didn't do what I want. <laughs> so I was thinking it'd be nice to add some of these. We'll, we'll, we can figure it out. So what we're going to do, add some platforms here, throw our triple lodge on top, and just have a weird little block of housing. Now I may live to regret this. We'll see. <laughs> I'm not sure. As I make sure that we've got plenty of new housing for beavers that don't have food. I guess we have some. Over here, we can finally blow this thing up. Boom. Yeah, we're going to add our platforms over here. We're going to need to cut some things off to get this to happen. That's how we mitigate that discomfort, I think. And over here, this is oh, gears away. Gears away. So we do have three unemployed beavers over here, which is a nice development. We're going to try to keep that overhead. In terms of lumber, we're still fine. So we have this tapper shack. We'll turn that back on. I want to take the pine resin and get it over here. So let's get a new route. We don't need these gear routes going over there now because we're going to build tons of gears over in this district. So we'll add a new route with pine resin. And we'll focus this. This is on pine resin. They've got 50. So Hopefully we can move this all over here. Of course, we're gears away over there, over here as well for this. So we really need this going. Let's prioritize it. We can, we can prioritize it. So the goal of being able to get this irrigation done is that we'll be able to keep working at a normal pace throughout the year. So that's the goal. Prioritizing these water pumps and these water tanks. And I'm wondering how we're looking over here. We don't have a lot of water. Don't feel good about that. Our little path is finally... Oh, look at that! I prioritize these and they immediately start getting some water in there. Good. This is our next priority because we have all sorts of priorities. So we're just... I'm noticing that we have a lot of wheat and almost no wheat flour. So when I look at this, yeah, we probably need another grist mill. We just don't have a lot of power over here. Which is interesting because we have all of these water wheels, but there's just not a lot of current coming this way. You can see we we're about to enter a drought, so that's a thing. But half of these aren't even moving. So we'll need to think about the power in this district generally. We can't rely on beavers to do all the work. <laughs> so... And finally, we're done there. So that's progress. So I can make this connection right here. I don't need to go straight through that. This is really kind of a dangerous connection anyway. Hmm. As much as I want this to be the connection, I don't know if it's worth it. No, I've got to. I've got to. This is a temporary path. 
we'll leave it as temporary. We have plenty of food to get through this. We can do it. And I will turn off these water pumps because it's not useful right now. And then we'll blow this up. Now, once I do blow this up, I want to pop down and just see what this looks like. Because we can see, oh yeah, it's completely full of water. And I want to see this fill in. I think it's going to be really neat. 18 unemployed beavers in this district. That is perfect. 24 homeless. What is going on? Oh, they're too far from their homes. I think. Because this still should be connected. Because we can come here. Well, yeah, it's, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, the connection's made. It's not ideal, but it's still there. So something's not working. They're not at all focused on these. I think it's too far. So we'll get rid of this and add another path around the farm. Maybe that'll solve our issue. Because it's very strange that we have so many unemployed beavers. Well, we've had a lot of births, so, you know, maybe that's it. If we take a look here, there's a lot of deaths too. A lot of old age deaths. So it shouldn't be that big of a deal. <laughs> but it's clearly a big deal to some beavers because they're all sleeping outside. So <laughs> need to keep keep rolling with this. Let's see if this solves it. Look at that. A whole bunch of beavers got jobs. It was just too long. It was all at once. That's impressive. And now they're working on this. So good. Okay, so we're going to pop down. Let's blow this up. Look at that. Water just flows through there quickly. So I don't need to go down further here, but I want to just, just for the continuity's sake. I just like it. Feels good to me. So we're going to go with it. Over here. Oh, gears are just such a grind. But we got to keep doing it. We'll get there eventually. Interesting. So now we're too far away again. So I sat there just staring at this, wondering what's going on. <laughs> that, was, that was what the problem was. So we'll get these built and then I can get rid of some of these temporary connections. I'm really excited to get rid of those because I really don't like them. So we're going to, we're almost there. We're almost there. And they has died of old age. One of them. I think this might be the first time in quite some time that we don't have they, but we do have Max Bucknell now. Uh, Helton has died of old age. Christopher Olin has died of old age. Everyone's dying of old age, and that means we're doing something right. Okay, so here we finally have our pads getting built. And this, this one right here, will mean that we can sever some of these terrible connections that we've made. And we'll get our potatoes planted here again. We can blow this up. And then let's go ahead and get our platforms in place. I never resumed our water pumps and we don't really have all that much water and we're just kind of dumping some of it into a pit. So we might as well focus on that as well. Once this is done, we can get rid of all these extra path connections that we made. They're not needed anymore. Feels good to have that back to how it was. But now with water pipes, so to speak, we're, we're doing well there. So here we're not doing so well. And we still have our problems with power over here. And this is starting to make me think that we need to rethink our whole power generation scheme that we have going over here because it's, it's just not working. Right now, everything is powered by beavers and we have this little windmill not doing a whole heck of a lot. In fact, this is only producing 116 power. I'm going to wait until the end of the drought. We'll see how much power this is producing. The thing is, we're not directing the water this way. Maybe this is a rationale for damming this up. Because I think if we take a look around, it will come this way. And this might actually produce, if we were to dam this, the water would come through here with more force and generate more power. That's my working theory anyway. Could be wrong. 
So we need a levy for this. And if we're going to do this, we might as well make it interesting for us. So what I'm going to do, let's get rid of these and we'll make a path up there and we'll open up more land. I mean, might as well. So we need to be able to get down here as well. So we're going to need a path down. So our next great infrastructure project is this, <laughs> whatever this is. We'll see if that does anything. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. We're going to have to just try it out. That's what a lot of this game is, just give, giving things a shot. So this, we're five gears away. And over here, we have all of our gear workshops doing well. They're getting built anyway. Wouldn't say they're doing well. <laughs> No unemployed beavers, and we're still working on this housing. So what's the deal with this? Oh, these are dying. It's dry. We need water pipes over here too. Oh, I did not see that one coming, but we can, we can do that. We can, we'll add some. Why don't we start out small and work our way up? Of course, by small, I meant very large. We're going to do this really, really big. Because <laughs> that's, that's the way that you do it with explosives. You go big or you go home. And hopefully, we start to get some more lumber exported. Let's see what we have. Our, hall, our distribution post. Not a lot of workers here. No unemployed beavers. We can stop the power wheels. Let's look at this. So our demand is significantly higher than our supply. Individual water wheels, this is 22, 42, 93. So what we're gonna do is just get rid of some of these low production power wheels. So the ones in the back, if this doesn't work. I'm really hopeful though, that this will work. Now I see another opportunity. Maybe down the line we could block this off here block this off here, pump water over and dump it into here and make a bit of a lake. That could be useful. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting too far. Maybe I'm getting too, I'm getting ahead of myself there. But we're starting to make some progress here, which is really interesting considering I, I, I had no idea that they would be able to go that far down. That seems like a bridge too far. But considering that is the case, can they get to this one? They can. Wow. That is wild. If that's the case, Whoops. We are going to get rid of this stuff. I don't want them to focus on that when they can get to it already. We finally got this lovely underground warehouse. So we are going to empty this. Empty this. And I'm going to get rid of those. These are not very space efficient, the small warehouses. I think they're kind of weird uh, in terms of you know, keeping them around a little bit too long. If you do, they, they take up a ton of space. They don't really hold anything. We can get rid of them. We could keep them, but we don't have to. We've got this. This is by far better. This carries 4,000 goods. This is 200 each. It's not very good. We've got this one over here, which is 1,000. It is full. What is it full of? Planks and wheat. So much wheat. Yeah, so we really need to figure out this power situation so we can process that wheat. Because I think we're just not going fast enough. We've got plenty of food. So maybe it's not a huge concern, but it's still a concern. Over here, I guess we don't really have that much food in this district. We don't have very much food or water. We have a lot of beavers. 51 over here. Wow, we are perfectly balanced between our districts. It's got District 2, 51 beavers. District 1, 51 beavers. So I don't know how that happened. Perfect equilibrium. Everything is as it should be, apparently. So this is all that we're building now. And it makes me wonder, two builders, not so great. And we could probably use more housing. And maybe that'll give us just a little bit more overhead. Plenty of haulers though, so that's good. We just need some more builders. And even our distribution post is good. We're going to take that down too and then pop it back up. Then move over here and help us build all the stuff that we want to build. Now over here, can we just not get to any of this stuff now? 
can't get required materials. That is not good. So it needs these paths. We'll see if that does the trick. Or are we just not prioritizing it because we're too focused on this stuff? I think that might be the case. We need to get this moving, so we're going to prioritize all of this. One of the reasons I care so much is we've got chestnuts, grilled potatoes, metal blocks, potato scrap metal, everything's over here. We are going to start just loading up this whenever it gets done, which is a million years away at this point, because we don't have any beavers. So <laughs> beavers are our limitation right now. Over here, I'm just going to focus on this until it's done. Okay, so this is our first taste. So we finally got this totally separated. So what this should do, what this should do is cause the water to come through here with more force. That's my, my theory, my working theory. I could be wrong. 45, so, oh, look at that, oh, nothing. 51, so our overall network power supply is 400 without our windmill. So it did improve things some but could we do better but could we i think we could i think we could so hmm i'm wondering let's go a little bit further so if i totally block this off and i force all of this water to come through here that'll change the current the directionality of the water because right now it's flowing through this way but if I get it to flow through this way, that could do the trick. And that'll create a whole bunch of pressure right here too. So we are working towards making this a bit of a lake. This could hold back water. Oh, oh, I know what to do. If I dam this right here, I'll save all of this water. We could use this as a, as a place to pump. This could really work wonders for the city. This could be huge. Or, or, well, no, no, I think I have to do it right here. Well, but I have to do it here too. Yeah, maybe that's not gonna, well, no, I could. That'll be, yeah, yeah, we can do this. We can totally do this. So yeah, I'll, I'll dam this. Yeah, we're doing it. This is gonna be great. So once this is done, which is, this is going quickly. Once this is done, we're going to create some dams. We're going wild today. So you can see it. It's starting to change the water flow. It's slowing down over here. Look at this. The power supply is through the roof over here now. We're actually going above. Our supply is above our demand. 726, 727. I didn't even need to completely close this. I could have just constrained it. So I could probably make this a dam and that would be just fine. But what's the fun in that? No, 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 no. You know what? Beavers are more respectful of the environment than people. We will let a bit of water trickle out. And then we're going to need to place a district gate right here. But I'm going to wait until they're done helping over here because they've got more resources for this. There we go. So it's just a trickle coming out of here now. But we are generating, whoa, 1,800 out of 700. I don't understand how that's possible. I don't know, where is all this coming from? Wow, some of these wheels are just going crazy. So I'm very pleased with that. This, this worked. This worked well, well beyond my expectations. So at that if we dam this eventually actually, let's make that eventually right now it's fine we will uh we'll struggle a minute <laughs> so lots of unemployed beavers i hope they get to this quickly <laughs> yes we, we are cut off from our water supply and one Three beavers are stranded. Yeah, they're over here. They want to get out and they can't. Come on. No one's eat. Oh, we can't get the materials. 
Oh no. Oh, I've made a terrible mistake. Um, we're gonna need to bring wood over here now because I screwed up. <laughs> yeah. Actually, actually, we'll just do this. We'll turn these on. We'll cut down some trees. It's gonna be fine because this is just logs. And this is empty. No, it's not empty. Interesting. I also need to prioritize these. Arctic Fox, you are the hope of the community. You too, Gene. We need you. Over here, Mehmet died of old age. Michael Sorensen Beck has been born. Woo! Zardis! He's here! He's here! Hawk Falcon too. So we've got a lot of great stuff going on. So we've got two logs. This is not so good. <laughs> Truthfully, the best solution is probably this. As much as I want to see the lumberjacks doing their thing over here, I think if we get these staircases built, we can save our three beavers over here because we've got a fiery fly not doing well. We've got Goose, our 27 year old friend Goose, dying because of our poor decisions. Oh no. Goose died of thirst. Michael D died of thirst. And a fiery fly is about to die too. I'm so sorry. I, <laughs> that was not my intention. But I'm I'm just sacrificing the beavers for the for the good of the colony today. So, so we're prioritizing. Stop! No! 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 Do not do that. Do this. We're so close. We're one log away. And we lost the fiery fly. That's my fault. That is 100% my fault. We are actually bringing lumber over to build this for some bizarre reason. This is the real priority. Build this and we'll have so much lumber available to us that the rest of this will be easy as pie. There we go. So now we've got plenty of lumber. Plenty. And we can stop these guys from doing their thing. Now we didn't get to this in time so we weren't able to hold back water, which is unfortunate. but fine it's fine we'll be fine at least now we have Ooh, i thought we had plenty of water in this district we do not we need to just build some more water pumps okay so what i've done is i moved this district gate we got some more pumps pumping it out of here get some water and move it in the right spot over here got some this is spread out so this this should work for this district which we need because we are actually in a pretty bad spot with water in district one so hopefully this helps we do have our dams getting built though which is a good thing it's a couple logs away from being completely finished here and we're at least connected over here now so it should be fairly simple to get in here and we've got we, we actually don't have extra beavers because I killed some. So that's unfortunate. I thought we had extra beavers to continue our work. All right, so we're all done with this. So I'm going to get rid of these extra stairs. I don't like them. So we're good now. I almost want to clean up this island too. But that's, that's really <laughs> not needed. So this should create a bit of a bowl here. The main problem is we have the ability to sneak through right here. So what I'm going to do, we're still struggling here, we're really struggling. I don't understand what our struggle is. Gears, the forever struggle. <laughs> so we'll blow a couple of things up. Is it just too far? Can't get materials. We're just going to stop exporting these. And hopefully that does the trick because we, we do have explosives. We just don't have them over here. In fact, we should give these back. So I'm giving the explosives back. I deleted a log route. I'm going to add them back because there's just so many logs over here. And it's such a such a problem in this district right now that we'll just give those back. And hopefully that helps. See, we've got a ton of planks. And that's the other thing. We need tons. If we're going to have, let's see, we've got two smelters. We've got two lumber mills. We're cranking out lumber. We definitely need. Actually, it's not connected anymore. So we're not even doing that. Okay, so now we're in a good spot with this. 
We're filling it in. We just didn't have any explosives over here. So District 2 now has 36 explosives. We should be able to fill everything in over here. So long as we can reach it anyway. That is another concern. So let's detonate this and we will add a platform. We're not going to go as deep here. So hopefully that helps. And the main idea is if we get these done, we can bring all of these trees back to life. We won't have this drying out and dying issue. Then again, all of our work over here could help as well. So we'll have to see. Now with this, they've got their pumps done, but there are no beavers to work. So let's take our distribution post down. Hopefully get some beavers here. Nope. Four. Nope. <laughs> So in this district, we have plenty of gears now. So I am going to stop some of our gear production. We'll keep this one over here. Always good to have some going. But that gets us some water and for planks, we've got tons of planks too. So let's not focus on those quite as much either. And then we'll prioritize both of these by haulers. And we still have this big backup of wheat. So that's another thing. We're going to need to think about that soon. So we're working on our explosives. We've almost got all of these in place. So I'm really excited about that because this has been an issue. I just want to focus on District 2 so I understand what's going on here. And there are other places where we're going to want this treatment, if at all possible. But this is the area that I care about the most right now. We're just a couple away. Just a couple. And interestingly, we have no planks over here. So that is another route that we could establish. So planks over here. That's going to be a huge help. Sager was born. Has Helps was born. Got a ton of beavers over here. Look at it. Big boy died. <laughs> John Kent. John Kent is an awesome, awesome patron. So excited to see him being born. A turn of flamma. Yeah, I've got, I've got some names in here. Some, some names that I recognize. All right, let's try not to blow up a beaver. All right, we just, just got them out of the way. All right, so now we can come through here, get this moving, and we can get our water dump. So we'll put that right here and then come around here with our paths. And then I want to increase the priority of all of this because this whole district area is not really functioning well right now. And I'm really excited to get this thing moving. We've got all of this warehousing space that just we're not able to do anything with right now. We've got grilled potatoes, metal blocks, scrap metal over here. Do we have planks? No, <laughs> we just. We just don't have planks over here. Oh, is that all of our storage? Are we relying entirely on this one right now? We are. So that's not great. And we still have nothing in terms of our uh, planks, I guess, in our globally we have some, but not, nothing over here. So the drought's done and we get to see how this works. I just want to make sure that it's not going to force all the water through here and completely eliminate all of our power. That's a really big fear of mine. Even though we've got all of the priorities, I think I might make this a big priority right now because I think it's pretty obvious that that's gonna be the case. So this is gonna flow through, it'll start to fill up back here. And then once we get here, this is just gonna hold water back. It's not actually gonna come through. That's my thought anyway, we'll see. I'm not feeling good. I'm not feeling good at all. It looks like I've completely prevented water. Oh, oh, I was, I was wrong. We've still got some impressive. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's very good. <laughs> so, so this it's important, but the reason we're doing this is not because we thought we killed the power supply over here. That's not the reason we're doing this because we, we like to experiment and have fun. <laughs> so, Little different, but still important. So what we're gonna do, we need to also get a grist mill going over here. A couple of them most likely would be really helpful. So these are oriented in a way that's not ideal. 
what we're going to do, we're going to get rid of this gear workshop. We, it's great, but not ideal. We'll also get rid of this and this and this and these. And what I'm going to do here is I want two grist mills. So we'll add a platform there. Add our grist mill right here. And then we'll spin this around and place it right here. They'll all be connected. And what this is going to do is provide so much power, so much processing for all of this. Oh, look at that. It did drop down. It did. It's not working the way I wanted it to. So it is going to be important that we dam this up. Shoot. Well, at least we've got this situated. We are going to need our gears again. So <laughs> we'll get this stuff going. Arctic Fox and Edgemire helping us get this going. And we do have three unemployed beavers over here. We've got this beaver power. Yeah, half of these aren't doing anything anymore. So I made a terrible miscalculation. So let's take this down. And you can see where this needs to go. And just for my own sanity, I'm going to get rid of this. So this cuts everything off over here. So that's a problem, but it's not insurmountable. So we will add some dams through here, some levees right there, and then add our platforms back on top. We'll reset this. And now this is all of the priority. <laughs> so nothing else is actually a priority. It's this. So thankfully this is working over here. This got done. Probably should have been a little bit more thoughtful about this. <laughs> just kind of, I just kind of went live and, and did it. So the idea will be that this will hold back water, this will fill up, and it'll give us lots of pressure right here. What's the deal with this? Oh, they don't know what they're doing. So let's set this to wheat flour. This as well, and now we can take some of this wheat and get it processed. Really disappointing power generation over here. So hopefully we can get this done quickly. So we're lumber bound and at least we've got 122 over here. That's helpful, but that's our, our big problem. And we've got Zardis helping to build all this stuff up. We don't have any builders over here and our hauling post is now cut off from the world. So that's a problem. And they're not going at this in the direction that I would have anticipated. So we're going to need to change that. So I just set these to high because I want to get these two buildings connected. We've got our grill and our hauling post. We can survive for a little while without those, but not, not that long. So hopefully now that this is done and we do have, look at this. We've got, got a beaver working over here. This is getting filled in. Let's see if it's actually got water inside of it. We've got water in there. Not enough. Still working on it, but you can see it's green. We're doing, we're doing much better than before. So back to this, we're getting some movement. And in district two, we've got 80 logs. That's not ideal, but we're at least moving. So everything over here is cut off. So all those gears that we needed <laughs> all cut off until we get this dam done. And over here, our water problem, it's still a problem, but it's not as dire. We can fix it even further by actually enabling these. <laughs> that'll, that'll, that'll help. We've got one unemployed beaver after enabling these. So this is going to do wonders. These are still, oh wait, no, no, I was wrong. These are empty. So we'll get rid of those. We'll finish up our projects. It's always nice to, to finish things up and not just leave it dangling. So here we go and we'll fill in this area with some carrots. Look at this. This is progress. We're moving in a good direction and we've got this. So our hauling post, all of our busy beavers back there, that's going to help us speed the rest of this along. Cause that's the thing. All of the builders were, were being required to go and get the materials. Now that our hauling post is going, they're bringing those 
those materials over here and the builders can focus on building. So that's huge. And you can see that they're really speeding along now. So very important that we were able to do this. Now I see them going through the water to get over here and I wonder if it would be helpful just to create a path. I guess not, they're, they're able to get there, so it's not a huge deal. We'll let this go until it's done. I have to stop for a minute because look who was born again. It's Vey. <laughs> We've also got Shaner's 21. Uh, Shane is an awesome guy. Uh, Chris Tran here as well. Chris Tran is amazing. The Federation is has grown up. We are, uh, yeah, we've got, I feel like we're in a good spot with this. We, we, uh, we've kind of reached an equilibrium. That's going to change once we get this housing built, because you can see that, the, I mean, this is going to be some housing. And I'm actually going to speed up the... Well, it's not going to let me. But maybe I could just speed up the bottom. Oh, I can. So I just really want to know what this is going to do. I mean, I'm excited about all of it, obviously, but... So really playing with priority. Now, everything is prioritized, but it's actually prioritized. So the priority is to get these dams built. Then we'll get our platforms built. Then the lodges, they'll come. And then after that, the roofs. Because those aren't really a priority. It's just a nice to have. So this is too far from the builders. So that to me shows that I need these paths. Now it's good. Okay, and our dam is finally done. So let's see what this has done over here. It has done nothing. <laughs> so uh, it might take a little bit though, because we've got to let this completely fill up. Look at all that pressure right there. It's a lot of pressure right here too, and almost none right here. So this makes me wonder if I made a bad choice with this. So the theory is if I close this off, then it's forced to dump out over here. It's one of our two exit points. The other thing is maybe I have too many dams right here. I really hope that's not the case because that would be tough to resolve. So the other fear is that I, I end up cutting the water off in this area. We'll have to see. I'm doing a lot. <laughs> that was one of the reasons I wanted to keep this open. The other idea is that I could just stop doing this but I really would love to keep the flow coming through here and save all this water because that's where I think I'm heading. And it won't be perfect. It's only one tile deep, but it's going to be a lot of water. Okay, so there we go. Over here, now it's flowing. Look at this. We've got our power back. Whoa! We were up to 1,200 for just a moment there. That is wild. So now, now we're moving. I'm feeling really good about this. We've got our drought coming up. We're going to keep this going until we get this done. And then we're going to call it a day. But I, wow, wow, I feel, I feel like we've brought the city into a much more sustainable place, a place where, you know, we can actually keep our crops alive, keep working 16 hours a day, grind our beavers into the ground and uh, things are going to be fine. Totally fine. Uh, we did lose our local e-girl though. So, and some random Texans. So it's not all positive, not all positive, but at least that was old age. We're not starving people. They're not, uh, they're not thirsty. <laughs> we're, we're doing okay. And we're filling up our water. I wonder, are districts still balanced? District one, 55, district two, 53, perfectly balanced. And if we take a look at this, we are almost ready with our homes. So we've got one here just loaded up with people. Beavers over here, completely empty. This too, lots of beavers in here, gonna be very helpful. This is gonna rapidly grow over here. So we're gonna need to really think about that because our food is not, 
It's not great. It's fine. We're fine, but it's not great. Now, thankfully, I was worried that this is going to run out of water. It's completely okay. Our power has reached an equilibrium of about a thousand. Demand only 700. So we're fine there. And over here, still no unemployed beavers. As quickly as we add them, we take them away. So totally fine. We're just going to need to build some more housing here eventually. So this might be the first time in a while that almost everything has been built. We still do not have beavers making gears over here, which is a problem because now we can't finish our wood workshop, which we want so we can get some of our mechanical pumps eventually. We do have enough science for that, so we can certainly go through and just so I don't inadvertently use it. There we go. Look at that bad boy. That is, that is huge. <laughs> I did not, I did not realize it was going to be quite that big, but I like it. I like it a lot. Why can't I place it if I want? Yeah, I don't know what it's angry about, but it's mad about something. But I'm very curious because I have not placed this asset just yet. So does it want to go down four? I don't, I don't understand how, huh. well, I'll need to spend some time focusing on that eventually. Oh, it's a water pump. Mechanical water. Okay, so it's not what I thought it was. Or it is? I'll have to play with that. I'm excited. Pumps water to be able to drink. Pumps water up on one side and discharges it on the other. More efficient than a regular pump. Do they mean dump? Because that's what I thought this was. <laughs> so we're going to need to figure that part out. But that's not a today thing. We are going to just admire the new lake that we've created this was why we built all of those dams because now we have this completely dammed off so when this runs out of water which will happen eventually we're still okay we've got our water underneath our roads we're good to go i'm feeling good about this i hope that you've enjoyed this if you did please hit the like button if you aren't subscribed please consider doing so and i will see you in the next one take care bye bye All right, time to detonate. Oh, when I killed... I'm sorry, Douglas Anderson. I did not mean to explode, that could cause an explosion. No, oh, no, 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 please. Go to bed, at least. Oh, we're gonna see so many people dying because of our poor decisions. Oh, no. Goose died of thirst, Michael D died of thirst. And a fiery fly is about to die too. I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was not my intention. But I'm I'm just sacrificing the beavers for the for the good of the colony today, so.